Alright fam, what's going on? Welcome to round two where we report the leaks and other shit too. This is Tal Fury and I got my boy here. Daedalus, how's everyone doing tonight? Nobody blink! You can't give it up! It's showtime! Good luck! Alright guys, uh, this is... It's gonna be a long one, not gonna lie. Um, some <laughs> rain... Of me. <laughs> Definitely. Um, it's Nintendo related and it's about Star Fox, and we about we about to do some shit. It's gonna be a mini rant before we continue, because there was a lot of shit that got reported during this time during my rage. So let me just say this: God damn it, Star Fox, you didn't fox it up. You don't fucking fox it up. I I. I this is why Daddy died? Oh my God! This is why he went to the black hole and never came again. This is why we don't get smash. This is why your dad went to the store and never returned. <laughs> it's like. Fuck you. It's like this this game I was hyping so fucking much for the past like three, four months. And I was like, I can't wait to get it. Yet it said that motion control is gonna be there. They might have an option. Do you ain't gotta choose that bitch? But that's fucking fine. I'll play the shit out of it anyway. I get that fucking game and I play through it and I am like my smiles went to frowns so fucking quick. I like I was gonna play it all night for the stream too. And nothing happened. I was so fucking disappointed that now that I'm at Andros, I'm just like, I'm gonna beat this game, but once I beat it, I'm fucking returning it. Like, with the now, quickness. <laughs> was it as bad or worse than Star Fox Adventures? Ooh, that's a good question. <laughs> I will I will tell you this. Now, you guys are tuning in, you will hear spoilers. Uh, I, I, just, just little minor ones, to be honest. It's not as bad as Star Fox, like, uh, Adventures, but I will say this, it's right in line with fucking Command. Mm. Just with the fucking, just with the fucking controls. The controls, when you play the first stage, it feels like, oh yeah, this is not bad. Oh, this good. is so smooth. I yeah. can barely tell that I'm using the stylist. It, oh god, no, oh, fuck Command. <laughs> fuck Command. It's just like, but when we play in, uh, on the Wii U for Star Fox Zero, I'm like, oh wow, this is really nice, you know. Alright, it feels the same, that's good, we're in Corneria, we're fucking shit up. And then, here comes the gameplay mechanics, which fucking takes you out of the immersion with the quickness. I've never fucking been so angry, like, each one was more painful than the last, except for this, I actually had fun with the Landmaster. I never thought I'd say this in, in, a, in a fucking sentence. Is that the chicken one, or is it just a regular tank? No, it's a tank! It's the fucking tank that gives you a piece of shit I fucking- I fucking love the tank, dude. Dude, for the first time ever, I actually enjoyed the Landmaster. Dude, I loved doing barrel rolls. Like, the tumbles. Oh, yeah! I fucking it, love that shit. And it felt good! I was like, wow! And the, for, once you get to the last boss, the last boss is a fucking headache. Like, I get headaches, but they're rare nowadays. But that, for the first time, that gave me a headache, and I was like, oh shit, this is not good. Like, because the thing is, they don't tell you when they switch the camera, ever. They never tell you. And once you get to that point where it's like, okay, well, let me try to do this. Nope. They say it's like, well, it's recommended that you use it. I'm like, nigga, this is not a fucking recommendation. This is a fucking requirement. And it's like, fuck that shit. When it becomes a requirement, it no longer becomes fun. Wait, 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 wait. You said that they don't tell you when they change the camera? Oh yeah, no, they don't. It's just like, it just... That's bullshit. Does. Even 64 gave you those three arrows that like, they blinked and like, shot up, down, left, and right if the camera was gonna change. Oh yeah, no. Nope, not at all. Like, it'll tell you like, you know, cinematic-wise what's happening, but when I'm playing, I'm like, what the fuck just happened? Like, why am I looking this way? Why is my R-Wing looking me in the face, kissing distance? And I, I, I can't, I'm just like, why am I turning this way? Oh shit, I gotta look at the fucking screen. So, now when I look at the screen, it's like, oh, well, now you're being immersive. It's like, that's not being immersive. You're, like, unwillingly telling me that I have to do this. You're putting me on all fours and fucking me in my ass with these fucking controls. And I am not down with that shit. 
and just like it, it's like someone who probably gets like motion sickness or fucking seizures you don't even put that into account you just said fuck you get used but to that, it that helps with the immersion no i don't no how the fuck <laughs> put a vibrator in my ass if you're gonna fucking do that put some protection on it if you're gonna fuck me that bad it's just like goddamn. if you're gonna immerse me that much nah nigga this is where this is I'm where i'm then the water board me with immersion i'm telling <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, like the only thing, like the second to last battle, like I'm not gonna lie, I was I was pretty hyped because I was like, this is the only time that this game is really fucking good, is when you're with Star Wolf, and it's like I don't know. Fuck if yeah, you, dude, Wolf like, was my favorite. I love Wolf, dude. Dude, do you know I, what? I loved him in Smash. Really sad that he wasn't in this one. Oh yeah, but then uh, I don't know if you're ever gonna get this game. Are you gonna get this game? I, I mean, just, uh, you, even regardless of what I'm saying. <laughs> it, here's the thing: the second to last battle, you fucking uh, you fight Wolf, but he does this thing where he's like, "Oh yeah, I'm coming in, but this is what I can do." This nigga transforms to Zoid's fucking Shadow Fox bullshit. I was like, "Get the fuck yes. out of here!" That was like the most fucking Liger Zero, man. Thank you. It was fucking amazing i was like wow th this is a this is good i i felt really good fighting all four of these motherfuckers as they transformed as well and i was like i gotta meet them on the playing ground let's fucking do this i felt good doing that and i was like holy crap but then once i was done with it i was like now nah, i gotta go back to this this bullshit again that's how fucking disappointed i was when i had to leave it because that battle was great and i was like son of a bitch but throughout the whole thing, it's like, oh, try to do this and try to do this. And it's just like, oh, my God, these controls are ass butt. And it made me feel like I'm playing Southpaw, which I'm probably not even, like, exaggerating. I felt like I was playing Southpaw like you would get in Halo games, where the fucking, like, camera view is on one side and the strafing is on the right side. I was like, what the fuck? I would hate that. Yeah. At one that... point in time, that happened. <laughs> And, and also at the same time, the motion controls are still happening. So motion controls plus the fucking movement of the fucking vehicle. I was like, oh my god, I can't, I can't do this. H how did you do this? I don't even know how I got uh, acclimated at one point to actually like it. But I'm just like, oh my god, I, I gotta find a way to like this game. And I'll probably do a second run through. Like the Amiibos, great. I did fucking certain things. You do retro, you can't do auto aim. That was actually pretty cool. That means That's you, pretty cool. Yeah, and so the stuff I was doing, you, you needed to get good. And so, and then if it's the uh, Falcos, which is the Black R Wing, holy, yeah, yeah, you get double damage with the with the shooters. What? But you take you take like four major hits, nigga. You are done. You are fucking axed. I was like, holy oh, man, shit, that, dude. That would just remind me of like Galaga or something like that. One of those shoot 'em ups. Um, those kind. Of, kind of games where you just dodge everything. I would love that shit. Oh yeah, so not gonna lie, there were really good points in the game that I was just like, this is fantastic, this allows you to really try to get better at this game, but because of the, like, taking out of my immersion of this game and my love for this fucking game with these ass butt fucking controls, I'm gonna return it, I'm gonna get my money back, and mm. it bothers me because these controlling mechanics are just garbage. It's like, who thought of this fucking shit? And to be honest, like, you know, that's the end of my fucking rant, but it's gonna go, it's gonna slide right into the butthole with this next one. What do we want out of the fucking NX? And just, yeah. like, just clean off the Because... Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, so... Yeah, since this this game is basically, like, one of the last games coming out for the Wii, Wii U. Mm-hmm. Because here is gonna be the Zeldas. Yep. And so, that, yeah, you talking about the thing that sucks the most motion controls uh we were also talking that's how you don't want that in the next yes that's number one take that fucking shit out i don't want no fucking part of that ever or but the thing the thing that, that's so successful though was their motion controls and i think that's still gonna be like super important for the for like the fitness stuff mm -hmm. um so i think Unless it's like Wii Sports or Wii related, those kind of things, mm -hmm. not not have motion controls in the games, or at least have the option to make it off. Hmm. They bet like, they better do it. Oh yeah. They they better have the option to turn that motherfucker off. Let's see. Oh my god. Like just because I hated that in um, 
Wonderful 101. I love Wonderful 101. Oh, yeah. But they have little parts where you're, like, you're first person, and you have to move around with, like, a fucking dumbass because you have to do the motion control camera. Mm -hmm. And that fucked me up all the time. So... I'm just like, you know, when they did with uh, with Bayonetta 2, that was a perfect game. It's like nothing fucking changed. And it's just like, they really didn't, like, focus on the fucking motion controls, which is which is good. I'm like, why didn't you do it like this? You let Platinum do everything else. Why the fuck are they making them do this? And just like, because Shigeru Miyamoto, you fucking up, son. I know you're getting older, but I need this shit gone. I, I need to, like, x or give the option for us to turn it off. Because yeah. this is this is no the gimmick is no longer a thing. You need to motherfucking move on. And just yeah. like, oh my god, you know, oh, I didn't. Or have it. it like subtle, mm -hmm. or have it subtle like in Mario Kart. Yeah, see, like, that was good. Like, yeah, like if I shake it, I can do a flip and get the speed boost when I jump, and that's cool. I like that. I don't mind that at all. Oh yeah, I so, said you know, even with that, it's like they gave you no choice but to use the gamepad. But if you're gonna do that, why don't you just give me the option to also use the Wii U Pro Controller instead of it being in Player 2, like how it was in that game, I can use that because it still has motion controls in it, and it's actually pretty yeah. fucking good! I do, I love that Wii U Pro Controller. Oh my god, I, love that thing. I was like, Nintendo, this is, this is the best controller you've ever made other than the fucking GameCube controller! Holy yeah, fuck! Everyone, everyone's gonna say GameCube though, everyone, but the thing is, the GameCube's pads wore off so easily. That's why I I chose not to use it. Mm. Because like I would fuck up my thumbs and on like the C stick because the, the pads wore off or my joystick. Right. That rubbery shit. That that fucked me up all the time. I mm. fucked up my thumbs. <laughs> that rubbery shit. Mm, mm, mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, but it can't God. be worse than the uh, 64 one, which is the fucking Millennium Falcon looking thing. Oh, jeez, the Aluminum Falcon. Yeah, the uh, TIE Fighter. Oh, jeez. That was the TIE Fighter. The uh, <laughs> Aluminum Falcon was uh, <laughs> just Oh, my God. Didn't they make an actual controller of the Millennium Falcon for the N64 on that? I don't know if they did. I don't know. But, um, but, yeah, no, like... But, um, yeah, I remember the uh, Mario Party fucked up your, your palm <sighs> for doing that. Controller, blister, and son. Like, oh, I just used a sock. <laughs> no protection. Real gamers, real gamers don't use protection. <laughs> we go raw dog or nah. Oh my god, raw dog or nah. <laughs> Man, so here's what I was actually wanting to tell you to because, of course, we already got the whole thing. No motion controls. Here's what I want because remember when they said they were trying to implement the handheld in the console because earlier in the reviews they're saying it's not gonna be a it's not gonna be a console nor a handheld. I'm like, the fuck is it then? It is like you know how cryptic they fucking are. I said, well if they're gonna do that because they wanted to have it to where it's mobile and they've been dabbing themselves in the mobile game lately. Which um which is totally fine. Hopefully and the, and everybody likes that fucking app. I think it was like Mimoto or something like that. Mitomo? Yeah, Mitomo. Yeah. Like, I fucking everybody in my fucking friends is like, got that shit. I'm like, god damn. This is like the I highest. Fuck, you have no idea how much trouble I went through to get Mitomo. Because I have a Windows phone. Damn. <laughs> and I love I love Windows phone. It's nice. And like, my OneDrive is synced up to my computer, so I have all my pictures. Mm -hmm. But uh, anyway, it's, it's not a tech thing. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, definitely. So I needed Blue Stacks. Mm -hmm. So BlueStacks is one of the emulators for Android, and but here's the issue. What's up? Mitomo is against um, jailbroken phones. What? And so if you don't, if you have a jailbroken phone on Mitomo, it'll keep crashing, and it'll just never turn on. What? And the it registers BlueStacks as a jailbroken phone, which it is basically. Oh my god. So I had I got a root kit for my emulator of my Android and I had like all these security like um like bypasses for Mitomo just to play it and then it crashed again. Like they updated it so they so they crashed it again. So like I spent like five hours just to play that game for like four days. Motherfucker. God <laughs> goddamn. That's, That's some so savage upset. shit. But you know, <laughs> here here's where this is because I really hope because since you said about jailbroken phones. 
this is where I would like for them to be because remember the PS Vita where they were like, hey, we got options for you. I don't know what that is. <laughs> oh fuck you. <laughs> well, our friend. Neither does the market. <laughs> well, our, our, our you know our friend Keo has it, but you know that, that, that whatever. But um, yeah. but that's the thing. Is it's that like one of eight. Oh, oh, sorry, bro. But here's where it's at, like, um, with the PS Vita. When they actually were saying, oh, well, it's going to be, you know, Wi-Fi. And then they said Wi-Fi and 3G, which I was like, oh, shit. But then I'm fucked up when it came to, like, oh, we're partnering with AT&T, which I was like, oh, dick, fucking move, dude. Here's where it's at. If they're going to do the Nintendo NX and it's going to be, you know, in that mobile kind of area... Here's what I suggest. Have a fucking, you know, like, ability to actually get any mobile carrier. Make it to where it's already unlocked so any fucking SIM card can go in there and then you're fucking good. You can go to any fucking company, whether it be Sprint, Verizon, AT&T, you know, you name it. It's just like, so no matter where you are, it's like you get that service, you're online. That would... We're talking about for, like, the... The system like a Game Boy kind of thing? Like, um, well, like I said, they were actually not making it a handheld nor a console, so it's gotta be like a two-in-one kind of deal. So, okay. if they're trying to make it mobile, put that fucking, you know, unlocked, like, ability yeah, in it. Yeah. So, okay. yeah, because like how the, um, even the iPad Pro has an actual Apple SIM, where you can get all three of those services if you want. Oh, also T-Mobile too. But you have the choice to do so. Don't lock it into one carrier if you plan on making this bitch mobile. And just like, that's my one simple cry on that part. Because if you guys make it unlocked, you're, you're going to get sales. And you'll be like, oh my god, I can take this wherever I want. And you will dominate the fucking, not only handheld, but the console shit once again. And just like, that's, um. that's what we're waiting for. But um, I know you got more, but that's what I wanted to actually uh, yeah. apply. I wanted to say two things. Well, I thought you might have said we were going to talk about the handheld parent console. I thought you were going to talk about the abysmal battery life of the pad. Oh my god, the pad is ass! Like, if it's going to be a two-part console, which I love. I love the concept. It's great. I love being able to have like a little, little mini TV there if someone needs a TV. Dig it. Totally okay with it. Mm. Um, but... That thing needs to have more than like a four hour battery. Oh yeah. Because then you're taking away the m mobility that you're advertising because you have to basically just sit attached to the wall. Mm hmm. And um, yeah, it just takes away away from that. It takes away from it. And so my other thing was I love DLC and I love downloading games, so I don't have to like worry about my two-year-old scratching a disc Ooh. so digital games are like in the, the memory required for it is so big especially if it's like a second party game like um lego city undercover right um i don't i don't i didn't never play the game but i was interested in it because it was still a really good game apparently but um since this was a second party game it was like 40 something gigs holy shit if you wanted to down uh, download it digitally so you needed already an external hard drive just to play it and second party games don't care about like what the size is because they're dealing with 500 gigs from playstation and xbox and then of course they have the unlimited amount of space on pcs mm -hmm. and so they don't care about that so they're not going to download something for a different um console so if you're gonna if you're gonna have the hard drive better or current with like an xbox one or a playstation 4 like some rooms are then you have to back it up with the, the hard drive space and make it a terabyte a terabyte is easily enough in my opinion and and of course keep the expandable oh yeah no because what i did like about when you were telling me about it before i even got my wii u is the fact that you were able to something like, yeah, you can actually put an external on there, and I got like my 500 on there. I was like, get, wait, what? God damn. Yeah. I was like, and it was just, you can just apply it. And they don't have to format it. You just, boom, it's right there. That was it. 
I'm just like I didn't I didn't like the whole eight and thirty two, which I was like, what the fuck am I gonna do with this? Do you? It's like where have you been? Are you acting like Apple, where it's like we got a new iPhone six, where the screen's bigger? Welcome to the 2012 cell phone age. And it's like good on um, you. <laughs> and the thing that bugged me, and like I said, the second party systems don't care, but Smash Brothers. Uh, my disk drive broke when Smash came out, so I had to Smash, but I can still download stuff. So we had Smash, and that's 14 gigs. Damn. That's a first party game, so they know how big their hard drives are. And they know how to make it to where it's not as big, they format it in a different way. Mm -hmm. And it's still 14 gigs. That's fucking, that's, I hate that shit. Oh yeah. I hate it. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, going to continue. It's just possible. Oh, no, 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 you're totally fine. Like, when it came to the storage, that's a big deal. As also the fact that if you got... We need better battery. Like, the Wii U Pro Controller, as we said earlier, is fucking phenomenal. When I first opened this bitch up, like, it's the best 50 bucks I've spent on an actual controller because I didn't really have to charge it, per se. Like, I don't know, I think, yeah, I think from what I remember, I had to charge it first before I played it. But then when I played it, it took like a month until it died to like yeah, charge like I just, again. Yeah, like I left it around, and Alex would like occasionally turn it on and still like play with it and blink, uh, keep blinking, mm -hmm. and it still took like two months for it to like die. And I was like, all right, and so I lose the cord because I don't use it at all. Oh yeah, like which is which is a, a good thing. I'm just forgetful. But, <laughs> it's, it says so much, and it's just like the 3DS. Like, put a 3DS battery in the the, the next gamepad. Oh, because yeah. it does just as much. Like it ha it has it operates two screens, mm -hmm. and and w while con doing like Wi-Fi and etc. So, oh yeah, I would I would say put a 3DS because 3DS would be two weeks like easily. Two weeks is fine. You know what I would like though, and just like now the another thing too, because you mentioned something about the the games, which I'm like okay yeah the storages and everything like that. The one thing that I would love to have because their patent earlier didn't have an actual CD drive, so everybody's speculating they might go back to like cartridges, but the cartridges might be SD cards. That'll be that would be like like little 3DS cards. Oh yeah, because already. If you're gonna make things like a two-in-one kind of deal, and this is all that fucking... still reinforces the more storage. Exactly. If it's gonna be non-physical. Yeah, because back in the day, those storage devices it didn't hold that much, but now you can hold in a flash drive itself. You can hold 256 gigabytes onto a flash drive now. This is the fucking world oh, we live I, in. I've seen I've seen flash drives with terabytes. In them. Yeah, and it's like holy shit. This is the world we live in right now. Is it's like if they can capitalize on that, they're fucking fine. Even with the fucking like um like I said, now this is all fucking rumors, even though we because we don't have all the fucking answers. Like I said, this is from what we're hearing if it's being like, you know, not a handheld nor a console that just kinda of fusion ha the bitch. Is it's like if they do that, of course, make also the three DS games playable on this fucking Nintendo NX. And also, actually have it projected on, uh, you know, from the actual console to that. Almost like the Super Game Boy when they did for the SNES. It'd be fucking fantastic. They haven't done that in a while, to be honest. This is like, I know. I know yeah, that. dude. I was, I was thinking about what that was. And then I remember what it was. And you just fucking just fit the cartridges in there. I played that shit all the time and they did the same thing with GameCube. Oh, yeah. With the little, like, black platform. I had one of those. That's how I played Pokemon. That shit, myself. that shit was fucking baller, man. And now I'm just like, wow, they haven't really done this in a while. I know they got the virtual consoles and shit, but I'm just like, nah, bring that shit, so bring that shit back. I want to yeah, see Yeah, I totally, I dig that. So while you're on the go, it's like you have the option to play your 3DS games and the actual, like, you know, NX games if you want to. And just like, give us some choices, but don't, don't just do the sake of innovation because we know they are the king of innovations, but yeah. time and time again, they like to fuck up. And it's not fun. It's not fun. It's not a, yeah. The experience is never good. It's just sometimes the innovation just go just stupid. Oh yeah, and, and not to mention too, be fucking friendly. This is another thing, because be fucking friendly to your third party developers, man. Please. Jesus. And just like, yeah. we know that you guys are cocky as fuck. 
we we know that but here's where it's at you need to just oh my god like you just need to have a dev kit where there it's actually simple to come in and be reasonable and just like because that's the reason like, no one wants to do shit with you yeah, you don't have to have every single like third party game but at least like have the option of getting like not every single one of them but like aim for 80 percent mm -hmm. because so many people that main argument about the wii u and its sales was there's no games yep and so your gripe is to have better third party i want better friend communication oh yeah the online experience like, jesus yeah Ugh. <laughs> no, I, like, I would want to shit talk because I play with my buddies. And Mario want to shit talk them, mm -hmm. but I'd have to shit talk them at the end of the match, right? For, like that all window, uh, like of, like oh, we could talk now. We can talk about the track for like three minutes. Yeah, like, they fucking like, limit shit. that shit. What the yeah. fuck? They even do it in Smash. After it's done with the limit, you can't do it again. And it's like, <laughs> what, what the fuck? I said, how come? In fucking Pokemon X and Y and Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby, you're able to talk to your friends during a trade unlimited. Like, what the fuck? I, I didn't get that shit. I was like, wait a minute, the 3DS has actually more online innovation than it does with the Wii U. It's just like. Not to mention, like, there's like that, that Picto Chat or like Me City and all like the Me games and all that kind of shit that includes incorporates your friends mm -hmm. and um, but yeah like give me a party oh um, yeah it's just like dude they're like, gonna shit talk you can't censor the world mm -hmm. that, that just irritated me oh and so keep going sorry um but yeah like just give me a better online experience and I think uh, that will help them a lot in the long run like I like the me verse whatever like mm -hmm. I love people drawing and Making all kinds of just fucked up joke. Be gentle, I will. S smash me, me plays <laughs> um, yeah, oh, man. Keep that. Like, I loved 3D World. Oh yeah, oh, 3D man. World, and now it's 20 bucks. Yeah. Three, three years later. <laughs> and, uh, like, and you just see, like, a random me, and, like, my mom and dad have been fighting. <laughs> my dad hasn't come home. I was like, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so sad because I'm a bad person because I just laugh hysterically. I'm oh, like, fuck. Oh, yeah, I freaking thought it was fucking great. And I love to see just like, man, for the love of fucking God, make more online multiplayer games. Thank you. So I can finally beat the shit out of Tau Fury's ass and come through. He's Yo, like that ain't gonna happen, man. I, just am, like... I am the Sky King. <laughs> <laughs> It's just like, that game was just absolutely fantastic, and of course Ubisoft's up their own ass, and that's for another fucking podcast, but I'm not gonna lie, the online experience, like, I've only enjoyed it through Monster Hunter, I don't even play Monster Hunter like that, and fucking Pokemon, that, that was it. It's just like, you need to get your online shit fixed. It's like, I understand... Not everyone's a pedophile. Oh yeah, exactly. It's just like, and not to mention, you know what's so busted? about the Minecraft version for Wii U? Holy shit. I was like, okay, cool. So if they're going to port this game, that means that the ones that you get in your grid, like you're able to actually, like, uh, what was it, place the blocks into the grid of the game pad, and then you just go from there. Your inventory will be right there. Nope. They don't let you do that. I was like, what the fuck? That's like the best thing to do. That's, that's how you, it's supposed to happen. It's like, nah, we didn't feel like doing it. Fuck off, Nintendo. God, God, fuck, damn it. It's just like, everybody waited for it, and it's just like, no, nah, we're not gonna do it, and just online still ass. So it's like, fucking damn it. Yeah, like, not everyone's a pedophile. That's like, that's the main thing. People are just gonna joke around, and like, the censorship is getting so crazy. Uh, like, uh. only do it for like, mature games. Just there. If, if you're so worried about that. Oh, yeah. 
It's like, oh, uh, my Nintendo made my kid, uh, you know, autistic, made my kid sexually active, made my kid leave our house, made our kid have drugs. What the fuck? Nintendo, nothing of your games make children do anything except play your fucking game. No one fucking cares about that. We want to play your fucking game. Is it like, and we get it at the end of the day, man, it's me and you are no longer the demographic, it's the kids at the end of the day. But then there's still the gamers who really want to make shit competitive. I'm surprised that Pokemon Tournament turned out very fucking well. Like, Dude, it had a tournament, like, there was only like 10 Pokemon in it. Yeah, and I'm like... like I was just seeing, like, Suicune versus um, Blaziken. Like, I've seen so many of that matchup. And I'd see, like, one really good game on it. Oh, yeah. That, see, and that's the thing. Like... The online experience, I did not experience lag for the first time on a Nintendo console. I did not experience lag. I was like, this is unreal. And I'm yeah. getting and I'm getting like the 60 frames kind of deal. Jesus, can you keep this? Like, that's the reason why it was successful. The only thing I don't like it was that side, okay, there's like only 16, 16 characters, whatever. And yeah, two of two I, of them are fucking I, clones. I think that will change though. I think I don't think they they thought this was going to succeed as much. Oh, hopefully. Hopefully they put in DLC where you can actually switch, because I'm not going to lie. Yeah, you got a Pikachu Libre, you fucking cheese electric rat, who I fucking hate out of all the electric types other than Sunfist. I was like, Shadow Pikachu. Yeah, I'm the just... the infinite guard break. Oh my god, fuck that cock sausage, okay? Fuck that dude. Like, I'm going to tell you this right now. I said, you're going to give me a wrestling fucking Pikachu for the sake of being fucking cute. But you don't give me fucking halucha. Thank you, thank you. Holy shit, fighting and flying. Okay, that nigga Dude, is he made. Was made for this game. I was like, what the fuck? I could have done an Ina, like was a an Inazuma drop from the fucking air. That would have been perfect. And just like Dude, my favorite Pokemon comic was halucha. He's fly. Halucha. And he just does like this massive suplex. And, yeah, I read, I read that, and it just fucking <laughs> bodies the dude in concrete, which I was like, that's, that's the greatest shit ever. Why can't we dude, have that this? That was my favorite Pokemon from that generation. I love that Pokemon so much. Exactly, and if you're going to release DLC, delete, you know, release them in packs. It's like, alright, cool, we give you this Pokemon, but then we give you a fighting type too, because I'm like, damn, no Hypnochan, no Hypnonlee? It's like, not even Sock Throw Hariyama? Well, fuck, nigga, damn! <laughs> yeah. I love that Machamp was in there though. Machamp yeah. was like, was really awesome. Fucking um, order order all day. He's just like, <laughs> yeah. he's like, God damn. But those are the things that we really want. And then and the last thing that we're gonna talk about. I know we went on for about what we want with the NX and shit, because we can go fucking all day and just like. But when we it comes, a lot. oh yeah, which is totally fucking fine. That's what makes us you know have enough time to do it. Is it's like, here's where we at. And for some reason, I guess this is a pattern, because I guess they wait, they skip a console to do whatever. Because they did it with Metroid, because we didn't fucking see it at all. Like, at all. <laughs> no, so, no, one, no one remembers the Metroid. <laughs> yeah, because I'm just like, oh, well, who fucking cares about them? whatever, but, um... We cared about it when we thought it was a guy. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> but now, Legend of Zelda, which... Of course, we kind of knew this was going to happen because they did this when the GameCube was, you know, when the Wii was getting released, and they, they just placed it over Twilight Princess there, and then they released it for the GameCube. I'm like, y'all doing this shit again? You always do a tech demo of fucking Zelda, and then you port it to another fucking system. Fuck you! <laughs> yeah, like, but at least Twilight Princess was really fucking good. Oh yeah, no, it was definitely good. They made That's it... A, that was like a clean 48 hour, hour playthrough. Oh yeah, no, fantastic game. Like, I'm not gonna lie, even with the HD remake, I was like, my god, this is good. Did you know that the Wolf Amiibo, you have to have it registered? Once it registers, no one else can fucking use it, so you can't sell that bitch? No, I, like, I need to buy that game so hard. Like, I need that Amiibo in my life. That shit is hilarious. I was cracking the fuck up. I'm like, wow, they finally cracked that down. She's Nintendo a year later. But, um, no, like, Zelda. I heard from right now that you can actually choose... A, you know, a boy or a girl, which I'm like, all right, cool, that's totally fine. I'm okay with that. Let's see, because that's not their first rodeo doing it. Do you want to know where they actually did it before, where you can choose a boy and a girl? Do, do you know, Davis? 
Um, I, I knew they were talking about it. I didn't know if it was whether really confirmed. Well, um, hopefully confirmed. But, mm -hmm. Huh? Now hopefully it confirms, but keep going. Yeah. But that, that'll certainly help with the whole like, gender issues that's been going on. And not to mention their massive fuck up with Fire and Blue. Oh, yeah. So I think they're going to be like, hold on, we're totally on the gay train. Please don't hate us. <laughs> um, no trouble. No trouble. Um, oh, my God. But. I think they need to do that, and they need to do what I don't remember them doing, which was, um, if you're gonna have that motion control, I don't know, did you see the tire looking thing? I the saw it, thing? and I was just like, eh, that's weird. Ah, okay. I mean, <laughs> everything's a dildo if you're brave enough, that's what I would say. Oh. But, um, so. But no, like, um, um oh, If so you're gonna make it that, also make it, like, ambidextrous so you can switch to left and right hand. Oh, thank God, that'd be great. I mean, just like, even though I'm ambidextrous, I don't really give a fuck because I'm already, like, like embedded into fucking default control panels and then also just analog strafing left and right on that side. So that's totally fine. I don't, I don't give a shit. But if they do it, great. That's so you know. But uh, when it came to the games with Zelda, actually, the choosing the boy or girl, it's actually from a game that was never released in America ever. Or even in Europe, apparently. Uh, ancient stone tablets. This is actually a couple of years after, like in storyline, after Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, which you can choose a boy or a girl. And I was like, holy shit, I need to find this ROM, play this motherfucker, but I guess it never really caught on and no one really gave a shit. And I was like, well, fuck you guys, I actually want to play this damn game. <laughs> but with the, 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 the recent release of the most ridiculous name ever, Linkle, um, <laughs> from Hyrule. Uh, Hyrule Legends and yeah. Warriors. Um, I think that'd be cool if it's um, it switches, so you can either be Link or Linkle. That'd be that'd be really nice. I would I would actually like it. It's open world. It's just like you know. Sky rule. It, thank you. I, I couldn't say it right. It was like Sky Rule. When Sky when they look, it's like yeah. From that point to that point, that's actually uh, that's actually the yeah, actual game. Oh, it's <laughs> like what the fuck? And, and they've been like. Seasons, because after all this fucking bullshit and fails and shit, they're like, we need to make Legend of Zelda tight and dank. We do not want to fuck up. I'm really hoping that they're having those kind so of we're meetings. We're going to release it on 420. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's an, it's gonna be a March like 2017 apparently, but like, um, I'm not gonna lie. Please, this game, if you're gonna make it fucking. Mm, 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 that Hiram, it, it sounds nice when I really think about it. It's very sexual when I think about Skyrim it. Skyrim or Hiram? I didn't, I forgot about Hiram. I'm just like, oh no, Hiram, yeah, Hiram. Mmm, just give me a high one. I'm not gonna lie, but, uh, oh my god. Oh yeah. See, and that's the thing, like, if you're able to do open world like that, then you have won a lot of Zelda fans. You're gonna sell that shit, and it better be a fucking staple. Like, that should be the opening game for the NX. It's like, no, this is going to be it, and they'll bundle with it. Be like, oh, bundle with it? Nigga, let me just pull down my pants and go to Toys R Us. <laughs> Not going to scare nobody, of course. Just don't make it a Spirit Tracks. Oh, God, no, please. God, no. I, oh, I God. loved Phantom Hourglass, but I did not like fucking Spirit, Spirit Tracks. Tracks. Spirit Tracks I don't give ass. no fuck about a train, dude. Oh my god, I was like, what's this? Lots and lots of Hyrule trains! Fast ones, slow ones, black ones, blue ones! <laughs> it's like, god damn it, we're doing Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god, fucking hear that game. But yeah, no, like, um, I know that one was kind of short, but we really wanted it. We really want Zelda to actually be. If they're taking their time, that's totally fine. And just like, I we just want to see. Zelda. I have the fucking Wind Waker edition for you. I love it. Oh yeah, my god damn my it. My fucking Alex's very first onesie was a Triforce onesie. Oh Jesus, oh man, you just, you just like, you just and getting he had the it horn, in. Babe. Oh, you just raking it in, man, you just raising them the right way, horde yeah, only. Super nerd, dude. Damn. I mean, if he like is only into sports, I'm gonna get fucking crushed. <laughs> See, that's the thing, yo, we, me and my girlfriend even talk about it, it's like, if we ever have kids, I think the one fear that we'll probably have other than like, you know, dying, get a sickness for the with the kid and shit, is that they become normal and they don't give a fuck what we do. I'd be like, 
well, shit, you know? Uh, I mean, good. Daddy, what's a weeaboo? Oh, God. It's just like, oh, shit. It's like, I'm so sorry. I'm just like, I mean, in my back of my head, be like, what did I do to deserve this? The, everything that they'll talk about that my that my parents would fucking love. Because it's like, I don't know why my son is into all this shit. It's like, uh, but, oh, God, that'd be the scariest fucking shit ever. I'd be like, well, we tried. And at least we know he won't be into, like, you know, stupid shit. So we can actually vacation the way we want. <laughs> it's like, yeah, all right. So when I buy a game, he won't <laughs> think it's for him. Even better, he's like, Dad, why are you playing that game? Uh, you're grounded because you're talking smack. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> oh my so god, what man. What would you do if I just, like, turned off your console? I turn off your living rage. <laughs> it's like, I, I make you six feet under. And it's like, whoa, Dad. It's like, yeah, whoa, son. You know that dog you're gonna get? Kill it. <laughs> just like, just slice the throat, red wedding, all over the ground. Don't worry about it. <laughs> You'll thank me later. It's like, in their regards. Oh my god. But yeah, but I'm not gonna lie. Just, um, that was pretty much it for the Nintendo. It was pretty much an, it, it is an episode, Slash but it's a future generation. Oh yeah, god dang. Oh, it was just... We, don't fuck up Nintendo. That's 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 all I ask. Don't we don't. want you to be here for our kids. Exactly. We don't want you to die because to be honest, this is kind of your last chance to impress people. If you, if you really want the like the bottom line, this is your last chance. And I don't, don't know what to say. <laughs> just don't go bankrupt. Just make another 3DS. Make a 4DS. I don't care. Exactly. Just make a you know and then. You yeah, make a Nintendo is like, uh, was it? Nintendo 4K. There you go, just, just fucking do it more graphics. Boom, you're done. They just make it like a tablet. Oh god, Jason. And just like, <laughs> and just like, make the kids look like they really care about you, which they really do. But, yeah. oh my god. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much about it. Oh my god, like, uh, <laughs> thanks for coming by. You like this shit, man? It was a long one, because we needed this. But, yeah. um, give us a like. Nintendo gets the worst and best out of us. Oh, yeah, god, jeez. It's like, we and want to love you. Us. No, we don't talk about that here. <laughs> we'll talk about it later, and we can cry over, like, you know, our dicks and tears. That's round, that's round three. That's round oh, two. oh, jeez. <laughs> but, yeah, if you guys like what we do and everything, give us a like, give us a comment and shit like that. We actually read them, to be honest. And just, like, and we get the messages, and they're pretty fucking hilarious at the end of the day. But, um, not gonna lie, we appreciate it. Thank you guys for joining us, and then, uh, hey, tune into the next episode of Round 2. See you guys later. See ya.